God damn it! I need to record my video. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's going, guys? Hang on, this is not the right game. Oh, hold up. Oh no! Okay, dude. Oh. For God's sake, we're back on this again. Oh f me! What's up, guys? My name's Jonathan, and welcome to some Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> What on earth is that character on the right on my screen? What on earth is that? And there's my character like, hi guys, here you go. Woo! So for today's video, like what we did on all the previous Modern Warfare 2 videos, we're going to be playing the new season and see how it basically really is. See what's in the battle pass and basically that's really it for the video. <laughs> anyway, for the battle pass, we're pretty bare bones again. Like, <laughs> I mean, we've got the new sniper, which is a WA-2000. If you haven't used that back in like Modern Warfare 2, what on earth was wrong with you? And we also got the FR Avanza, which is basically the Famas from Black Ops 1 or the Fafar from Black Ops 3. You get the point. You know how weird that is, how they actually add in a Black Ops 1 weapon into Modern Warfare 2. It's not like this game's gonna die anyway. And typical, the main thing for the actual battle pass is the Black Cell. Dude, that looks like a bloody Infinite Warfare character for, like, the FTL, the <laughs> trot loser. So, basically, I have to keep playing the game, which is gonna be a pain in the ass for me to do to unlock the new weapons, which is gonna take a while to actually get me to do that. So, you're gonna see me go absolutely psycho on this game because I am gonna be so stupid and <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> enjoy the run. <laughs> but first off, let me buy the battle pass. $45 for the premium? Oh, f off. Yeah, if you expect me to spend $45 on this, <laughs> yeah, get out of here. So what is we're going to do for the bare bones? We're going to be spending our 11,000 COD points on the most basic battle pass, as I've only got 1,400. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we unlock Graves and Oz. Is that pretty Oz? Uh, Oz no. So like what I did on all my other videos, we're going to sit back and relax and just use the M4 and just do a little bit of a gameplay slash commentary. So like always, everyone, let's get into the video again. <laughs> Yes, we got Strike! Well, it's not really a new map, but yeah, it's a new map for the game. Oh, shut up. Well, by the look of it right now, the map seems pretty damn basic. And what on earth are you looking at? Do you want to fight, people? you want to fight? They say they updated the movement or something. Like, they said sliding was better. Eh, uh, <laughs> it's okay. What about you guys? What do you guys think of, like, the movement and how Season 5 is going for you? If so, let me know in the comments as well. I also wanted to say thank you all so much for the love and support on all of my previous videos. All those videos that I've done on the old Call of Duty games were so much fun to record and make as well. Honestly, I really appreciate every single one of you that has liked, commented, and even watched my videos as well. I really do appreciate every single one of you. If it wasn't for your guys' support, I wouldn't be where I am now. I would have just gave up already. Because for me, I don't really care about the views and all of that, but I'm really enjoying YouTube at the moment. It's really fun and it's making me learn more with the whole editing and even like the whole like like promotion as well. Even though some people get a little bit pissed off of me because it's like I keep promoting and it's like, well, what else do you want me to do? How am I supposed to share my videos to everyone if I don't do anything about it? Well, I have no idea what on earth happened there. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, so much more fun. Yeah, sick. It still gets me time to time with Modern Warfare 2 about it's like they can't really do anything else to make this game good because we got the next Call of Duty game coming in like, I don't know, three months. And it's so stupid as well because so many people get excited for the next COD because you can do new weapons, new maps, new characters. And all of a sudden they confirm all your progress from Modern Warfare 2 is going to Modern Warfare 3. And it's like, why on earth would you guys do that? Like, what's even the point of releasing a new game if we're just going to play the exact same? Same game. Like, they should have just done a whole expansion pack instead, but instead, Modern Warfare 3 is basically a whole expansion pack, but a new game. If that makes any sense. I don't really get it. Like, I can't be the only one saying this all the time, but it's so stupid of the way that Activision thinks nowadays. Like, how is it that you go back to an old Call of Duty game, you can find lobbies two times faster, and you get more enjoyment out of it compared to playing Modern Warfare 2 because of the whole skill-based matchmaking, and it takes you forever to find matches time to time. Because it's such a pain in the ass because players don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> God damn it! It's like what I said on all of my other Modern Warfare 2 videos. I love playing Call of Duty. Call of Duty is one of my all-time favorite video games and franchises. I play Call of Duty almost every day. For me, I'm just getting sick and tired of all the BS that they keep doing. Because I want something in the game to grind for. Like, remember back on Black Ops 3 with, like, the specialist with the gold armor? You had to grind to unlock that. And you had the dark matter. Oh, it's like from Modern Warfare 2019. You had the obsidian camo. All you had to do was keep playing the game to unlock it. It got you something to do in the game. Like, there's so many ways that they can make the games better, but they choose not to because they keep locking it behind bundles, which I say on almost all my videos. A lot of people might comment and say, stop bitching, but it's like, I like to voice my opinion on Call of Duty because I want the franchise to be better. And I can't be the only person saying this because when you go into the comments and like Twitter slash X and Instagram, everyone's complaining. I can't be the only person. Because most of you be like, you're a bit of a hypocrite if you keep playing the game. Well, 
because last my spent money was actually buying the game. I had COD points from all the way back from Cold War, except the only money that they get from me is me buying their game, which I try to get as cheap as possible. I'm not saying that, oh, you don't spend your money on it. I mean, you can do whatever you want with your money. I don't really care at all. But for me, it's like, nah, not worth it. Better things to spend your money on than microtransactions. This is the bloody for mass. Oh, that looks what disgusting. Hey, it feels nice. I still get worried about the next Call of Duty all the time, man. If the game's bloody... God, here we go. Ah! So, like, always in the store, they are always promoting the black sale. What on earth is that? It's me with my bro. <laughs> I mean, the bundles are like, they look cool. Especially this one. That looks bloody awesome. But the problem is, I do not want to spend $30 on that bundle. It's like, I don't even play the game as much. What's the point of me even spending that money on it? But anyway, after yabbling on about Modern Warfare 2 and this and that, yada yada, I also got some more plans for my YouTube channel as well. So currently right now, we're playing Modern Warfare 2, but also I might be going back to the old Call of Duty games again and do more videos on them. Just do like little commentary videos and that and have some fun really and there's also a lot more other games that i'm really interested in as well hang on let me have a look at eb games quickly so the games i put down on pre-order is starfield crime boss the crew motorfest robocop alone in the dark stalker 2 and payday free collector's edition and like what you saw at the beginning of the video with payday most people would be like well you never played payday in your life well payday free is is getting me really interested now yes i didn't play payday when i was younger because well i wasn't allowed to i didn't really have any interest in it until i'm old enough now and was like, you know what? I'm, I'm interested. Like, why not? Because some people get pissed off about that. Just because I want to play something differently, like, why not? Like, it's like, Boo. Well, duh. I do remember that one comment that I remember that this one person was like, you seem like a really nice guy. You've got to be nice towards people that you don't really know. You don't know what their background story is. You don't always judge somebody by their cover. And for me, there's no point of being a douchebag in that towards people that done nothing to me. But sometimes you always meet that one person that's just a complete like a-hole. You just hate them to bits. And sometimes you got to treat them how they treat you. It's like if they treat you like a complete douchebag, you treat them like a douchebag back. Because for me, it's like, I don't really care what people say. Like, if that gets stuck in your head of people saying these different things to you, you start making up different stories in your head, and it does not work for you. You don't go anywhere with that. Basically, for me, it's like, I don't really care for what people say. I'm just enjoying life, and I'm just gonna sit back and relax. I also forgot this is a new map in the game as well. Like, this is like a part of, like, Favela or something. Hang on, I'll pop up an image of the map right now. I don't know why it is, but every time they add in new maps into this game, they don't play good at all. The maps are too big for 66, man. Seriously, do the developers play their maps, for God's sake? I'm trying to find people, but there's no one around, and people are leaving. Look, look how bare bones that is. I mean, the maps I've added in, they I mean, they're, they're okay. Like, they're not very, like, special by any chance. Like, it's cool that we got new maps in the game, but at the same time, it's like, oh my god, oh my god. This map, this map's great. So good. Love it. It's trash. <laughs> Oh my god, this game is never gonna be fixed, man. The servers are crap, the maps are crap, developers don't know what the heck they're doing. What's next? Your name is really Claymore Queen. Like, if they just named it Cod Ghost 2, I've been like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Like, if you guys have any video ideas as well, let me know in the comments as well. Like, any ideas of content that you guys want me to do, just let me know. Like, I'm happy to do it if I can, and if I'm happy to upload it, I will do it. Oh my god. Like, why can't this game have map voting? Like, the most simple thing in the game, and they can't even do it. I feel like it's getting harder to play Modern Warfare 2 now, because the only time I really play the game is to make content for my channel. Like, I, I just don't play it as like a game to really have fun on. I just play it to unlock the stuff in the game. Then I make videos out of it. Compared to like a, the other game I'm playing, Dying Light 2, I'm actually just playing that for my own like personal fun. I'm having a really good time playing that game, even though I did play it for a while now. Why are people still playing Modern Warfare 2 like it's not the end? Still gets me on how people just play the game like full on sweat mode. Like if people are leaving the game for a reason, then you know you stuffed up big time. So I think my future videos are gonna be the like the new sniper, the FAMAS, if I could be bothered playing the game. But for this video, well it's just basically just to sit back and walk like Oh my god, Claymore. It's weird though, when I stop recording and just play normally, the lobbies I find are actually like fun to play. When I start recording, it goes to downhill crap. I don't know why that is, it was like that when I was live streaming. Or it could be because I haven't played this game in like, I don't know, like two weeks. Yeah, these lobbies are really not that good, man. It's like you go back to an old COD, you have fun and come back to this game, you're just like, I don't really care. Well, besides that guys, that's going to be the video for today. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so because we're on the road to 450 subscribers at the moment. Sorry if the video is a little bit all over the place. I 
I really didn't know what to record properly today. Like it's hard to make content on multiplayer because it's so bare bones. Compared to like DMZ and Warzone, they get all the content and multiplayer gets left in the dust. But don't worry, there'll be more videos coming in the future, so don't worry about that. If you guys haven't checked out my social medias, they're all down in the description as well. Besides that everyone, my name's Jonathan, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. Also I wanted to say thank you all so much for the love and support and for watching this video as well. You didn't have to stay all the way to the end, but if you are here right now, thank you all so much. I really appreciate you. And I've also forgot, be mentally positive because there's always the positive side of life. Besides that everyone, I'll see you guys in my next video.